Uh, let's see if we got here. Uh, we gotta kick the rock to sir here. I'm 24. That actually might be considered old. Uh, because uh, Counter-Strike Go players, like, retiring at like 25 years old, 26 years old. Like, if you're like 30 year old, like, what the hell you're doing? You might as well be fucking dead, right? <laughs> and I knew I don't have the reflexes I used to have. Apex Legends was uh, boring to me. I was uh, playing solo anyways. Mm. Always. Yeah. I mean, sure. I know, I, I, I'm not playing Apex actively, but it like had this like fast-paced style to it that I liked. So, if, if we are just talking about my favorite one, I guess that would be the one. I found uh, building aspect in, uh, in Fortnite a little bit hard uh, to get used to and get into. We can't actually silence that as far as I know. Yeah. But he's going first, so this is kind of fine. Let's go with Thirsty Dame. A superb specimen, truly. 3,000 damage with randoms, 80% of the time. <laughs> That's pretty good. But then you get shit owned by good teams because you're solo with monkeys. Uh, that's not really viable. If you're playing uh, Apex Legends, uh, ranked, I, I imagine, uh, then yeah, I mean, even if you're playing casual, like, the team matters. You, you just can't have, like, you know, you can't, like, if you play Dota, you just can't have, like, you know, you do everything yourself. You know, you, you need a team. I mean, to an extent, you can do it yourself, but it's gonna stop working. It felt a uh, two running gun. Fortnite has super high sk skill ceiling. I, I don't doubt that, you know. It has a particular gameplay, but it's just not for everybody. It, it wasn't really for me. Oh, the Pugwe is really strong. I actually seen some uh, Fortnite videos because I'm personally like uh, a guy who I don't really watch uh, normal sports. What you call normal sports? But I watch uh, esports and I and I watch some like well you see on Twitch like advertised and I saw some of the Fortnite and it's just like it's pretty crazy. That looked a little fun, but again pretty hectic. So I'm I'm reading uh, what you you wrote. Maybe a uh, Rocket League after that. Two more skill cap games. Mm. Okay, let's go poison. I'm more of an RPG slash uh, strategy uh, lover myself, usually. You crash 60 times. If you kill 10 people, then the game crashes. So, have you given up on Fortnite? You hate strategy games? <laughs> oh man. You just don't like RTS? I mean, that's not that's not all the strategy. You have like... Uh, you have like strategy aspects in many games. You, know, you have strategy aspects in like Darkest Dungeon. You have strategy aspects in like Gwent. You have a uh, strategy in, in so, so, so many uh, games. That... Okay. I guess we're gonna poison here. In my trade, I Some strategy aspects I don't like, but... I, most kind of uh, do it for me. How do you like uh, Phoenix Point? I saw you play it a few days ago. I like it. I like it. I felt like my... First playthrough... The, the, the playthrough I was doing... It was fun. I was having fun with it. But also... Uh, I made mistakes. I made mistakes. I don't know... Now, now I'm doing a bit of Gwent because uh, the expansion came out and it's actually pretty fun. And I, I plan to return to my playthrough, but it's also a bit hectic. Uh, at first, I was I was doing really great. I actually kind of talking about my own experience, but I guess that's fair. I was doing really great and I was having quite a bit of fun. But then I, I realized that I was messing up and I had to reload a uh, few more times. And I'm kind of at the point where RNG plays a big part. 
I didn't really find any bases. And the only quest I got is a fucking around the world. So it, it's it's a bit it's a bit tricky. I like Phoenix Point. I like what it tries to do. I I, I think it's still in a work in progress. I love card games. I love heroes. Grand is a card game. Yeah, that's a strategy game. Strategy or RTS Civ games that I, these I didn't play. I don't really play these games too much either. I, I don't really play. I don't play StarCraft, but I like watching it from time to time. I don't play Civ. I, I like Stellaris. You might like Stellaris. I know it can, can feel a little dry you know, when you play these games. It just it just there's not much going on, or maybe a huge commitment. That could be a thing. It's a it's a massive commitment. And actually, if he pass. Uh, the Magnet Division is going to go up, and he's going to lose a card. So let's do that. Balance wise, it seems like all over the place. I found the game pretty damn hard. It's damn hard. It is damn hard. That's for damn sure. Chat back up. <laughs> Grubby playing Warcraft E. I could watch him for hours. He's a genius. I mean, he... He just played the game too much, and he's smart. I played Gru uh, I, No, I didn't play Grubby. I, I watched Grubby 2, and I agree, that's fun. I, I personally prefer StarCraft 2 gameplay, but yeah, I mean... Uh, I think we are kind of at the point where you might not even play the game yourself, but it's still fun to watch. Actually, this is going to be the last round, so we got to be damn careful here. Um, I don't have my finisher. <laughs> Where's my finisher? Oh, well, we got the finisher now. I mean, yeah. But I just don't like overheating my brain with uh, 300 APM. But I did play VC3 as a kid. Mm. It just it just feels like... Oh. These RTS games tend to be very micro-intensive. I think players, most players, uh, myself included, want to focus on the decisions. They want to make decisions and, and big decisions, and and don't do not focus too much on the execution. And these strategy games also focus very much on the execution. Not so much with Civ, so that doesn't really apply for that. But for StarCraft and Warcraft 3, execution plays a big role. And this makes it uh, also StarCraft 2, for example, even Warcraft has has as as many old school uh, limitations. I would should say, like for example, um, they don't have formations. That's super basic. So I don't know. It just feels like you need to micro a lot heavier, a lot heavier because. Because the game doesn't support any anything uh, uh, from like the last 20 years, uh, not like what, maybe last 15 years uh, that came out. I uh, never got into normal game that much, even though I tried. Hmm. VC VC3 does have formation. It doesn't. Warcraft it doesn't have formations. The units just go in like randomly. But it's useless, so people don't use it. Okay, let's just go with uh, Matahari. This dance, you will never forget. Okay, let's try to kill you, Gern. And we can pull two cards here. We can go Fion. Braxa. Does he have a way to destroy my thing? I don't know. We have two. Okay, fine. Let's play him. Get Fion. Onward, onward, to be showered with Imperial Gold. Keep hitting you gun. And just wait for now. You can yeah. You're one percent sure? I spent hundreds of hours on that game as a kid. It's next to the minimap. Hmm. Fair enough. 
But I, I just mean like you can, in many other strategy games, you can draw formations on the fly. You can set formations that the unit is gonna uh, stand in. You can have custom formations. So you can just customize formations uh, before you even get into a fight. Pretty basic stuff. Okay. Actually, I kind of fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. We should have played Masquerade Bob. I was giving up. Because he's a consumed monster. And he has no chance. <laughs> Never mind that. Yeah, playing Kahir. Like, pl just play Kahir and he's, he's, uh, it's game over, man. But I played uh, consumed guy. Uh, girl. Whatever. GG.